back to the second Java short tutorial. And in this tutorial I am going to explain how to declare variables in Java. So for that I'm going to continue on my project 01 examples project and add a new class called example 02. In this particular case I am actually going to generate some code and to save myself the trouble from having to write the main method I'm going to tick create the main method. So if I now press finish the main method is already there together with the class header. So okay, now on to variables. Basically variables are spaces in the memory that are used to store certain values. For example, uh, say if I want to store the age of a person, I can create the variable age. But before I can store a value of age into the system memory, I need to indicate what kind of value age is going to be. So in this case, age is generally a whole number. Therefore, I can say integer age. And like every other line in Java, we end this declaration with a semicolon. So integer, uh, integer variable is for whole numbers. If you would like to store a decimal number, for example uh, a price, you can use a double variable called price. Double is a decimal number. Alternatively, you can use a float number to, for example, store tax. If you would like to store a name, you have to use a string variable, which is essentially a piece of text. So that would be string name. Please note that of all the data types, string is the one that has to be written with a capital letter, while the other ones are with a small letter. So, if I want to store a single character, I can use a char, which means single character, and I can name it, uh, for example, single character. There we go. Not singer, single character. Uh, one more data type that is useful is the boolean, and booleans basically can contain a true or a false value, which is typically used for yes-no decisions. So basically there we have our basic data types. Um, so if I would like to assign a value to it, I can for example say um, age equals 31. Or price equals uh, 995. If I want to, for the text, however, since this is a float, if you want to assign a float value, uh, for example, let's say uh, 9.5, you need to add a F behind it to indicate that it's a float value as opposed to the double, which doesn't require a F because it's a double. Okay, for the name, a little bit different. If you want to give name a value, um, for example, um, yeah, what name shall I pick? Uh, Bruce Wayne. I need to write the text value between a double quote, text value, and then again a double quote. So basically the text value is between double quotes. Everything between the double quotes will be registered as a text. If I want to do the same thing for the single character, I again, I again use equals and say if I want to store the character A. I cannot use double quotes like with the string, but I have to use the single quotes instead. So everything between single quotes and why is this a problem? Ah, I made the same type typo again, single character equals A between single quotes. S between single quotes means character. Lastly, the boolean can accept a true value or a false value. Well, you might be watching this video and think, wow, this program is going to get lengthy very quickly. Well, actually, there's a shorter way I can assign these values. Say if I already know the value at the beginning of my program, I can, for example, say h equals 
33. Price equals 9.95. Tax equals 9.5. Name equals Bruce Wayne. Single character equals A. And yes, no equals, well, let's go for true this time. So this is essentially the same thing. You might imagine if I have a lot of variables, uh, for example, multiple numbers, uh, the program is going to get big pretty quick, actually. So say if you want to declare multiple variables, the other way to do that is by simply doing it in the same line. So, say if I would like to declare multiple values of integer, for example, uh, integer h is 31, and an integer called distance as well, I simply say comma distance equals 100, or price and length equals 1.89. I can even do the same thing, well I can do the same thing for floats, I can also do the same thing for string. So string name and yeah, what else shall I make up? Um, quote All your base are belong to us. Again, just a comma, the next variable equals and the next value. So I think you get the idea that about how to declare these variables and what kind of data types we have. So for the last part, I want to spend a little bit of time explaining on Java naming rules. For example, uh, let me take the char variable called single character. Again, let's call it scene. What I can, basically I need a unique name, so I can, for example, add a two to it. You are allowed to use both characters and numbers inside a variable. However, you are not allowed to start with a number. The first character must always be a letter, so like this, or a underscore. Or, and this is kind of weird, because it hardly ever happens, a dollar sign. Yeah. A other common Java naming convention would be, if we have a variable name that consists out of multiple words, if we, st we start the first uh, word with a single letter, and the second, every subsequent word we start with a capital letter. So it becomes easier to read. Single character. Of course I'm also allowed to do this. I can very easily start a variable with a capital letter as well. But yeah, your program will still compile. Nothing will happen. There's no error as you can see. But common Java naming practices would say uh, it's best to start with a single letter. You are not allowed to use mathematical operators inside your variables because then um, the variable name will be confused for a mathematical equation. Uh, you're not allowed to use spaces. That will definitely also not work. And lastly, you're not allowed to use Java keywords. For example, uh, the word class is a uh, Java keyword. So if I want to name a variable class, it will likely yeah, definitely result in an error. So that's Java variables in a nutshell. Well, I'll give you one more example. Say if I want to um, do a mathematical operation, I want to subtract two numbers. Uh, for example, I can say integer result is the result of uh, distance minus h. So basically 100, uh, 31 will be subtracted from 100 and the result will be written in result. In which case I can print result uh, inside my system the output print line. So let's run this. So that's 69. Um, 
Yeah, so basically the values, the mathematical equation is being done, the value is written here, which is then printed there in system auto print line. Uh, lastly, if I want to make my system auto print line a bit more fancy, I can do something like this. Double quote, double quote, result, double point, space. So the text result will be printed, but I would like to have the value of result printed behind it. So behind the double quote, I'm going to add a plus and a space just for readability, it's not compulsory. So now if I run it, you actually see result double point 69. And that's it as far as variables go. See you next time.